Yes. What if everyone said it just a little more? Would the world be a better place? A nicer place? At MU Health, we're certain of one thing, that yes makes the world a healthier place. Yes is the strength to fight doubt, the fuel to find cures, and the unbreakable resolve to keep pushing further. At Mid-Missouri's only academic health center, yes isn't just changing lives, it's saving them. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Wednesday, January the 11th. We're going to tell you about some very special events that are going on in Central Missouri. Let's start, first of all, with uh, TRIPS. It's been a long time since TRIPS has been represented on Radio it Friends. It has. We're glad to be back. Yeah, Corey Dunn is with us. And Corey, your, uh, your, your title is what? You've got a great big long title. It is a great big long title. I'm the co-director of education and outreach and the production manager. So I primarily um, am responsible for kind of overseeing all of the education programming yeah. that we offer. So you work very close with our friend Jill Womack. Very closely with Jill Womack, yes. But you're here today because you're, you're starting something new at TRIPS, right? We are. We've started a dance studio, which we are very excited about. Um, it's We started it last fall, so it's a little over a year old now. Um, but it's a technique-based program. We found that the kids who are in our shows are lacking the training in one specific area, really. And so our goal is to develop all of these kids into kind of triple threats, is the term that we all know. Um, so they're singing, they're acting, and they're dancing. So we've been offering acting programming for a long, long time. Um, we've gotten into music, more private voice lessons. Um, we were doing a show are you choir. Doing private voice lessons we are too? Kathy Peters is teaching private voice lessons for us as well. So we're doing private voice lessons and we now have a dance studio that's technique based and and focused in musical theater styles. Now when you say technique based, what do you mean by that? Um, most of the dance studios in town and and really kind of the trend in dance studios is um, competition focused. So right. they are they're learning all of the techniques but they're doing so to compete um, in national and state level um, dance competitions, whereas... But yours is mainly for acting. Ours is purely for the stage and, and to uh, balance kind of their learning set, their skill sets out across the board. So they're getting focused, focusing primarily on dance for musical theater. Yeah, so if somebody wants to uh, appear on Broadway in their future, <laughs> they start off with trips, Absolutely. with singing, dancing, and tap dancing. Yep. All right, so if people want more information about uh, any of this, what can they do? Tripskids.com is the website, and uh, we're always open to, for emails and calls as well. Our phone number is 573-449-4536, and okay. the email is tripskids at gmail.com. Okay, tripskids.com so is, is the website. Yep, Tripskids.com is the website, or the email address is tripskids.com. At, at gmail.com. At gmail.com. Yep. Corey, thank you so much for coming My by. My pleasure. Okay. <laughs> pleasure having you here. Now, we turn to Chris Campbell, who Hi, is Paul. with us today from the Boone County Historical Society. Actually, you like to refer to it as? Boone Museum and Galleries. The Boone Museum and Gallery. I go back a old time. Oh, Boone okay. County Historical no, Society. And you brought Professor Miyamoto. Hi, yes, yeah. I do. Good to have you here, Peter. Thank you. Uh, wh why, why is Peter with us today? Blind Boone Piano. We've got another fabulous uh, concert series lined up for 2017. Six concerts. Mm -hmm. And Peter and his wife, Ayako Siruta, uh, open the uh, season on January 16th. Oh, my goodness. On, on that Blind Boone Piano. That's right. Yeah. So what are you going to be playing? Well, we're going to bring in another piano, and we're doing two piano works. Um, and it's going to be a kind of all-around-the-world concert. We're doing some Piazzolla tangos. We're doing some big Rachmaninoff Russian piece. We're doing a beautiful uh, French Ravel La Valse, and we'll also have some Bach. Mm -hmm. so. so you and your wife playing together. That's correct. Will you be doing solo piano also? Uh, no, it'll all, it'll be, all be together. two pianos, yeah. Now, what about that young lady who's standing over there in the corner <laughs> that will not come on here today? That's your daughter, right? My, my eight-year-old daughter, Lauren, and, yes. and And she plays the piano, too. She does. She's only played a few years, about a year and a half, two years. Um, and she will be opening the concert with us. Oh, the, so she yeah. will be playing also. Yeah, she will do some solo pieces. Are you going to come in here, sweetheart? Come here. Here she comes. <laughs> okay. Well, and her name is? Lauren. How old? How old? Eight years old. Eight years old. Mm -hmm. And how long have you been playing? The, you have to talk real loud because you don't have a microphone on. How long have you been playing the piano? Um, it's about like one or two 
and a half years. One or two and a half years. Mm -hmm. That's a long time, isn't it? When you're eight years old, one or two and a half years is like an eternity. But when you get to be 70, that's nothing. <laughs> but I'm, I'm so happy that you came on here, and I think it's going to be wonderful. So you're going to be opening up. You're going to be the opening act for Mom and Dad yes. at the uh, Boone County Historical Society. That's yes. for the old people. We still call there it the go. Boone County and Historical Society. Yeah. Okay, so what date is that? Monday, January 16th. And what else will be going on uh, throughout the season? Oh, uh, in... Uh, April, April 10th, we have Kirk Trevor's uh, chamber players from the Missouri Symphony Conservatory. Okay. And in May, we have Audra Sergal, great jazz and Broadway concert. In June, we're bringing back uh, Bob Milne, internationally acclaimed uh, ragtime player, and it goes on. And uh, it's going to be a six-concert season. My goodness. So it really is. You've got a lot going on. Yeah, we do. And, and if people just want to come out, when you don't have performances, there's a lot to see. At Art the, gallery, history exhibits, book talks, absolutely. No. Do you still have uh, the uh, exhibit of Columbia? Yeah. No, it's, That's it's gone. No, it's gone. That's gone? It was up for a year. We decided to rotate it out. Now we've got a great exhibit uh, about Boone County childhood. Okay. So these phenomenal uh, games and textiles and and uh, memories of all types of recreation from the 1890s in Boone County all the way up to the 1960s. Yeah. And that's that's in the main history gallery now. Okay. But the first event for the year will be uh, Peter and, yeah. and, and, your, and, your, and your wife and your daughter <laughs> playing with a musical tour around the world on the piano. That's right. So how long have you been performing? performing? Oh, all my life. Um, you know, you, I, I, 30 years or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you have any piece of music that you would say is your favorite that you just love That's performing? such a difficult question, but I, I love, I mean, I've been associated with the music of Chopin at different times in my life, Beethoven. So, I mean, the, the great thing is that the piano repertoire is so rich. What yeah. is the most difficult piece of music to play? I've heard it said that Islamé by Balakirev, it's a Russian piece, um, is the most difficult. I've performed that mm -hmm. several times. But and when you're in the middle, when you're in the middle of performing, this, it, it, the music just takes over, doesn't it? When you're performing, sometimes in in a good way and sometimes in a bad way. Yes. What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> well, it, it's hard. I mean, you have to be right on that edge of control. Yeah. Um, because we we're following but you the feel script, it. But, you feel it, right? But letting go as well. And right, not that's being, what I meant. How right. the, because when you, when you watch mm -hmm. great performers like you, you're, you, you can see how you feel that music, and it's almost as if the music is con in control of you. Mm -hmm. But thank you for coming out, and best of luck thank with you it. Much. All right? Break away. Yeah, thank you. Again, the date is? January 16th, boonhistory.org, 443-8936. Got it. All right, tomorrow we have Mar Doring on. We're going to talk about animal behavior. If there is something that you would like to hear or see, I would love to hear from you. Just drop me an email. That's pepperp at missouri.edu. And have yourself a nice day. See you tomorrow.